Hello and welcome to day three where we're going to combine what we learned over the past two days in a nice grounding flow. So to start off, come into your easy seat with your legs crossed. You can sit on a folded blanket to elevate your hips just a bit if that's more comfortable to you. Placing both hands on our knees, closing our eyes, Connecting with our breath, relaxing the shoulders, and focusing on coming back to our center. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. We're going to take both of our hands, interlace them, press the palms forward. Having a nice slight bend in our upper body. Inhaling, expanding the back of our rib cage. Feeling that nice stretch. Inhale, coming up. Looking up, relaxing the shoulders. Palms press up. We're going to exhale, coming over to our right, rotating our chest upward. Inhaling, focusing on that 360 breath. Exhaling, easing our mind. Inhaling, coming back up to center. Exhaling, coming over to the left side, rotating our chest upward, feeling that nice stretch in the right side body. Connecting with your breath. Inhaling, focusing on that 360 breathing, opening the rib cage up, exhaling, centering our minds. Inhale back up to center, bring your hands back down. And we're going to interlace both of our hands behind our back. I'll show you right here. We're going to clasp both of our hands together, bringing our shoulders back, inhaling. Just opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders, bringing both hands back, engaging the core. Inhale and exhale. Release. Good. You can shake that out a bit. Now we're going to inhale both of our arms up. We're going to exhale, twist over to our right. Left hand comes to our right knee. Right hand comes behind us. Inhale, gently elongating our spine. Exhaling, just gently twisting, not forcing it at all. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, both arms up, back to center. Exhale, twist over to our left. Right hand comes to our left knee. Looking over our shoulder or gazing at whatever is comfortable for us. Inhaling, elongating our spine. Exhaling, gently twisting, not forcing anything. Just connecting with our body, connecting with our breath. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, placing our hands on our knees. Now we're going to come into our tabletop. Remembering to engage our hands to our shoulder, dialing the hands out, really engaging that connection. And then we're going to tuck our toes, coming into our downward facing dog, bring our hips up toward the ceiling, maintaining that connection, that activation in our hands, and we're going to slowly start to walk our feet to our hands into our standing forward fold, again, dialing the feet out, engaging our feet this time. We're going to inhale both arms up into our upward salute. Exhale, coming into our mountain with prayer hands, engaging our feet, activating our feet, 
connecting with our breath. Now we're going to bring our feet out as wide as the mat, pointing our toes outward. And we keep our hands in prayer. And we're going to sink into our garland pose or yogi squat. You could go as deep as is comfortable for you. Connecting with our breath. Inhale, coming back up into our upward salute. Exhale, coming into our forward fold. Bring our feet closer to one another. Focusing on grounding down, dialing out. And now connecting with our mat, connecting with our breath, coming into our plank, bringing our hands down, bringing both feet back. If this is too much for you, you could come into your half plank, holding it here for a brief moment in plank or half plank, dialing our hands out, engaging with our muscles, slowly coming down to the mat, bringing your knees first, untucking the toes. As we come down, bringing our forehead to the mat and then pressing up into cobra, inhaling, connecting with our breath exhaling coming back down to the mat and we're going to do this two more times so you're going to tuck your toes you're going to press down into your mat engage with your hands coming into your downward facing dog you could adjust your feet here bringing them closer remember dialing the hands out engaging here for a brief moment and slowly start to walk your feet into your standing forward fold Dialing the feet out. Inhale, coming up into our upward salute. Nice slight back bend. And as we come down, we're gonna exhale, stepping our feet out into our yogi squat, going into as deep as it is comfortable for you. Inhaling, come back into our upward salute. Slight back bend. Exhale, coming into our standing forward fold. Slowly walking the feet to center, grounding down into the mat. We're gonna prepare for our plank by placing both hands on the mat, slowly bringing one foot back, then the other, engaging, connecting with ourselves, connecting with our breath, and then bringing our knees down, untucking the toes, and slowly coming down to the mat to bring our forehead down. Inhaling up into Cobra. Exhaling, coming back down. Good. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to tuck our toes, pressing into the mat. We're going to come into our downward facing dog. And then slowly walk your feet, connecting with the mat and our downward facing dog, dialing our hands out, keeping a slight bend with your legs if your hamstrings are tight, and then slowly walking our, to the way to the front of the mat. Pressing down into the mat, dialing our feet out. Inhale, coming up into our upward salute, slight back bend. Exhale, coming down into our yogi squat. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale coming down into our standing forward fold, slowly walking the feet towards one another so they're hip distance apart, placing both of our hands down to the ground, stepping one foot back, then the other, either staying here or staying on your knees, engaging with the mat, or dialing your hands out, focusing on that hand to shoulder connection, untucking the toes, and slowly coming down to the mat, bringing the forehead down, inhaling back up, exhaling, bring your forehead to the mat. I'm gonna inhale back up into tabletop. And now we're gonna go into our hero pose. We're going to sit down on our heels. If this tends to be too intense for you, you could place a blanket right in between your legs. If that's easier, or underneath your knees, 
So that's what feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna go into a little flow right here, inhaling, coming up onto our knees. Nice little upward salute. Exhaling, coming down into tabletop. Dialing the hands out, we're going to inhale, opening up our chest. Exhale, rounding, still dialing the hands out, engaging the hands to shoulder connection, inhaling, opening the chest into cow, exhaling, coming into cat, inhaling, coming into cow, exhaling, coming into cat, and then slowly coming down into your child's pose. Bring your forehead down. Now we're going to inhale, come back up into our hero's pose. Bring our hands to prayer. Pressing in to the mat with the tops of our feet. Just maintaining that nice engagement. And then we're going to inhale into our upward salute. Nice slight back bend. Exhale, coming back into our tabletop pose. Hands below the shoulders, dialing our hands out, engaging. Inhale, opening up our chest into cow. Exhale, tucking our tailbone for cat. Inhale, opening up. Connecting with the breath. Exhale. Coming back into cat. One more time. Inhale. Opening everything up. Activating everything. Exhale. Coming into cat. And release everything down to the mat. Do your child's pose. Forehead comes to the mat. Widen your knees if you'd like. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And just focus on grounding yourself and allowing yourself to come back to center. Really appreciating this time that you're taking for yourself really being grateful for who you are and what you have, searching for it. It's there, even though sometimes it's hard to see. This life is truly a gift. So you could stay here as long as you'd like and I'll see you on the mat for our next practice.